Welcome to my poster presentation. In this short video, I will tell you about SnowDB, our specialized SnowRNA database. So first of all, what is SnowDB? SnowDB is an interactive database containing a wealth of information on human SnowRNAs from several general and specialized databases as well as from the literature. In order to understand the relevance of SnowDB, you need to know what is a SnowRNA and what it does. Small nuclear RNAs, or SnowRNAs, are small, abundant, and highly structured non-coding RNAs that are divided in two groups, box CD and box HACA SnowRNAs. They are typically known to guide 2' O ribose methylation or pseudoregulation of ribosomal RNAs. However, there is increasing evidence that these small molecules can have other functions and can be involved in a multitude of cellular processes, emphasizing their versatility at the cellular level. Furthermore, a multitude of articles demonstrate that SnorNAs are deregulated in several types of cancers, as well as in various pathologies. Unfortunately, in most cases, the molecular mechanism by which a SnorNA might impact the pathology is still unclear. Our knowledge on SnorNAs is still quite limited, and getting up-to-date information on SnorNAs was a real challenge. Moreover, databases with information on SnorNAs are either very general and contains very little information, or specialized but outdated. In an effort to provide an easy way to navigate through SnowRNA data, we created SnowDB, which compiles up-to-date data from different resources and literature. The second version, SnowDB 2.0, aims to update the data with the different sources of uh, information, fix some compatibility issues between the different resources, add new information that can be very useful for the community, and refine the way to present the data. Let me give you a quick tour of the web interface of SnowDB. On the main page, you have an interactive table with information about 2,123 entries in the database that you can scroll. There are already some default information, but you can toggle a lot more directly in this table by clicking on the column visibility button. There are some information on SnowRNA features, genomic location, external IDs, conservation, host gene, and targets. The entire or only desired part can be exported in Excel, TSV, or BAD format. You can also download the FASTA of your SnowRNAs of interest. Within this table, there are multiple links that allow redirection to information about a SnowRNA of interest on another resource. If you click on the SnowDB ID, you will be redirected to a detailed view of a specific SnowRNA. Let's say that I'm studying breast cancer, and I've read in some article that SNORT50 was deregulated in this type of cancer. I want to have more information about the SnowRNA. Using one of the multiple search fields, I can search for SNORT50 and found two SnorNAs, SNORT50A and B. By clicking on the SNORT50A, I'm redirected to the detailed view for this SnorNA. In this page, I have all the information relative to this SnorNA that was on the main table, but in a more convenient way. Plus, I also have extra information sh such as important motifs, predicted structure, SnorRNA copies, SnorRNA protein interactions, and the level of expression for nine tissues and five cell lines. I can easily navigate through the resources to find some useful information. For example, by clicking on the NCBI link, I have access to SnorRNA 58 articles related to cancer. The SnorRNA RNA and SnorRNA protein tables can give me hints on the molecular role of the SnorRNA that was shown to interact with these targets. At the bottom of the page, I can have a quick view of the expression profile of the SnorRNA and its host gene throughout different tissues and cell lines. I can quickly identify in which cells SnorRNA50A is highly expressed, in this case ovary, or weakly in skeletal muscle. Interestingly, I can also see the opposite for the host gene, highly expressed in skeletal muscle and weakly in ovary. Going back to the SnorRNA copy table, I can click on Inspect Copies in Main Table and get the information of all the copies. By clicking next on Expression Data, I get a heat map which gives me an idea of the expression level of the different copies of this SnorRNA. This heat map is also fully interactive. Finally, in the second version of the database, we added a brand new section on ribosomal RNA modifications. In the home page, you can click on RRNA chemical modifications and get redirected to a page with an interactive table listing all validated and predicted SnorRNA RRNA interactions. You can easily search by your favorite SnorRNA or position wise. 
In the next tab, you can visualize different ribosomal RNA sequences used in the literature with all the validated positions color coded. By clicking on a modified position, you get a list of all the SNORNAs guiding this modification and links to the SNORNAs. In the Conversion tab, you can easily convert any rRNA position between two widely used rRNA sequences. And last but not least, in the Modification tab, you have access to the modification levels of modified positions in the ribosomal RNA from multiple studies. You can search for a specific position and have a detailed view of the data points by clicking on Show More. The beauty of this section is that you can efficiently navigate from one tab to another. If I take the previous example and I look for RNA targets of, of SNORT 50A, I can see two RNA targets, position 2848 and 2863 of the 28S. By sorting by coefficient of variation, I can see that this position is highly variable between samples. By clicking on Show More, I can see that in general, this position is highly modified in breast cancer and less in cell lines. All this interesting information can give me hints on what to look for in my study and can truly be indispensable for the study of snorinase. I hope you enjoyed and that I convinced you to use SnowDB 2.0 if you have to work with snorinase in the future. Thank you for stopping by.